Hey guys, how's it going? Brother Arcanine here with another episode of Random Battles. Uh, but today, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Do -do -do. Uh, we're going to be doing Random Battles, but uh, they have this new... Uh, I don't know what it is. OM, whatever that is. Uh, <clears throat> it's Random Battles, but it's only Ice Types and it's Inverse Battles. So, uh, it's... Uh, like ice resists ice so basically now everything's super effective against everything it's really interesting really interesting battle uh, battling type so thought it'd be pretty interesting let's do a few battles of that see how it goes I did one practice battle I won it 4-0 and it, uh, <clears throat> it was fun so uh, hopefully we continue that luck and uh, let's just hop into it see what happens Really excited. Really like uh, this new uh, battling format. Inverse battles always confuse me. Um, obviously, it's opposite, and uh, you can you can know a lot about Pokemon. You can never know everything, and then to just know, try and know everything, and uh, then <clears throat> try and 180 your uh, your ways of thinking and your understanding of the game. It uh, it makes it pretty difficult, but you know. Always up for a challenge, and it is pretty fun. So, you guys should uh, definitely hop on to this uh, Polar Opposites on uh, Pokemon Showdown if you uh, would like uh, chaotic battles because it's really, really interesting. Alright, so we have uh, Beartick v. Cragonal. So, this Pokemon uh, could be pretty fast. So, I'm thinking we're probably going to get at Sped here. Do I want to go Sword Stance, or do I want to go just straight up Icicle Crash? Uh, looking at our... From what I know of Cragonal, it's probably not a good idea to stay in, but... Let's just do it. Yep. So hopefully we have enough to just take it out here. Yeah. Cragonal's got really bad defense, so... <clears throat> I kind of figured to move in that exchange, but pretty badly, obviously. We're probably just going to be able to get one Aqua Jet off here, and that'll be it. So hopefully, uh, he sends in like a Bomb of Snow or something, and then we could really just clean up here. Uh, Reg Ice. Okay. So, let's go Aqua Jet. Oh. For some reason, I thought that would do way more. <clears throat> well, I'm a fool. Should have gone for Icicle Crash there. Could have done a lot of damage. See? My, my line of thinking is just uh, very different. Used to it. Well, I guess it would have been neutral no matter what, so it was just silly of me. Uh, I wonder if Dugong's Thick Fat will still uh, turn out for us here. So let's uh, go into Dugong. See if uh, we get absolutely devastated, or if the Thick Fat comes through for us. Very foolish. I, well, I obviously didn't know it was going to go for rock polish. I guess I could have looked at my own Reg Ice and like had an idea uh, of what its moveset might be. Ah, so Thick Fat does nothing for us. <laughs> and it has weakness policy, so we are we are screwed. Yep, yep. Doesn't look like we're going to be uh, winning this one as well as we won the last one. So... <clears throat> I don't know, maybe dry skin will work out better for us? This Mon is just so defensive. Uh, it's obviously going to outspeed us. I don't think we're going to be able to live two of anything. Uh, let's just Ice Beam and hope for the best. Nope, we are devastated. So this Red Ice is going to completely sweep us out. Most unfortunate, but what are you going to do? <clears throat> going to just Swords Dance for fun. Because we're probably going to get taken out in one hit here. This Reg Ice is, uh, yep. Yeah. Alright, so let's just, uh... Well, I don't want to be that guy in Forfeit. I hate it when people Forfeit, so... Let's admit defeat. 
in style. This person is going to get themselves a nice 5 0. And uh, hopefully, in the next one, we'll have some better luck. Wow, so I did nothing but just like feed this reg ice the whole time. Gave it ice body, gave it its weakness policy. Huge misplay on my part. I guess our reg ice is like the exact same set. Oh, well, there you go. <clears throat> so I guess they'll get a 4 0 just like I got in my first match. Talk about inverse, am I right? Uh, so this thing's probably going to outspeed us and absolutely dominate, so GG, well played. Uh, let's go into the next one. <clears throat> Alright, so they got their Kiram White, and we have our Articuno. So, Ice Beam's going to do neutral damage here, where we'll also get neutral damage. So, uh... Let's scout out, see what kind of damage this thing will do. Just 33. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, we can roost up here. And then that Earth Power will do, like, nothing to us. How much did that <clears throat> do last time? 60%? And we're outspeeding it, so we can play this game. We'll go another Ice Beam, and as long as it doesn't crit, we should be able to live. Oh, barely living. Alright, so we're probably going to have to double roost here. But we definitely are going to come out on top of this exchange, barring any uh, critical hits. Double roost. Maybe even triple roost. Yep, definitely going to triple roost here. Not Stolly. This is just how I how I have to play if I want to beat this Kyrim right now. So we're gonna do another Ice Beam, and then we'll do another round of Roosting, and uh, then we'll be able to take this thing out. If he's smart here, he'll switch. Now we can clearly take this thing out, but. Do I want my Articudo to only be on like 50% health against whatever is going to come in? Probably not. So we're going to go for a risky roost here. Mmm. Now, I don't know if that Dugong's Thick Fat was like detrimental or not, but I guess we'll find out here with this Ice Beam. Either way, it's going to be four times effective. So. Maybe Thick Fat did help it out there, I'm not sure. But uh, Articuno is definitely doing some work here. So Surf only did 23.5. If that's a low roll, I'm thinking substitutes our play. Oh, yep. Very smart of us going for that. So now we got our Articuno nice and subbed. Uh, And we are able to take out the wall rain. That Kyrim's not going to be able to take on Articuno, so let's see who he decides to bring in here. But why? I don't know why you would bring Kyrim in when you knew that I was going to outspeed and kill you with an uh, ice beam, but maybe he's just got like not good options, I guess. Gets the icicle crash. Ooh. So it's gonna do like neutral, I think. Icicle crash, yeah, I didn't say it was super effective, so neutral damage, we should be able to live it. Yep. Living it pretty well. Oh. Alright. Well hopefully we don't get double flinched here. And he gets a crit. Gosh darn. Alright, well who do we have of priority? You have Ice Shard? You do have Ice Shard. And you have Ice Shard as well. You also have Hustle. I'm not playing that game right now. You have Ice Shard. 
All right, let's go cloister. I mean, if it has ice shard as well, it's definitely going to outspeed us, but there we go. All right, so we're looking three and five right now. Let's look nice, looking nice. I love playing uh, new styles of games and uh, doing well. Obviously, that last one weren't doing super well, but uh, them's the apples. What did I just say? Is it time to shell smash? Or is it time to go into Deli Bird? It may not be time to go into Deli Bird. <clears throat> this skill set is definitely awful for an inverse battle. So normally I'd Shell Smash, Rock Blast, Goodbye Glaceon, but that's not our play right now. Shell Smash Hydro Pump, and then otherwise we'll go into uh, a Bomb of Snow after this, probably. I guess. Wow, we just got absolutely destroyed there. I mean, I expected that, but yowza. Alright, so... Cryogonal, or how... Cryogonal? I don't know how people say it. Don't know how it's supposed to be said. Alright, let's see what our special defense does for us. I'm positive that critical hit mattered. I am positive. Alright, so... 217, obviously we were going to outspeed that. Um, I shared won't take it out, but an earthquake probably will. So let's get our mega bomb snow in here. Go for that EQ. <clears> hmm. <throat> so if he's going to protect, then we have an issue. Yep. Not like I had any setup moves that I could have really predicted on there, but, uh... I guess we'll just go Woodhammer now. I'm gonna get hit with some mad recoil. What? Why isn't that super effective? Inverse battles are just so confusing. Alright, so. We can live one more of anything. Oh, it lives on one? Are you kidding me? Now this wish is just going to destroy us. Yep, wish protect stalling. Now we're in some trouble. This Glacier on some trouble. <sighs> Fuck you, Glacier. All right, that Glacier's stalliness absolutely won the battle here. That's too bad. We were definitely on track to win that. He's probably got... No, he's, he already used his Skyrim, so... It's an inverse battle. I don't know why they're giving us these, like, ball sack movesets. Alright, let's go Draco Meteor. No, let's just go Ice Beam. Nice. Alright, so we're in it now. It's 2-2. So nice and tight. What's he got? What's he got? Uh, you're a defensive monster but I don't think you're going to be able to do too well against this Ice Beam. If you're max HP, then you'll probably live one. No. Alright. Kyrim's got to win this for us, though, because Deli Bird's not going to do anything against this team. Uh, we'll probably at speed. I'm hoping we at speed. And we know... I don't think the crit mattered. That's four times effective. So, oh, they're tossing up GG's. GG. Well, GG. Alright, let's do uh, one more for funsies, because we're 1-1 uh, one one right now. Let's see if we can uh, be 2-1.
All right, so we got our nice wall rain versus a Kiram. Oh man. So I'm only gonna do neutral. That wood hammer is gonna kill everything. Surf's probably the better play. I think. I know we can live one of anything this thing throws at us. So if we substitute, we live with enough to substitute. We're only going to get one hit off on this thing either way. So Surf's the way to go. Okay. Well, it's nice that we get that, like, free damage there. It's probably going to go straight up to the Ice Beam now. I guess he was kind of scouting us out, but basically he just damaged his Chiron more than he needed to. Hopefully this Surf will actually take this thing out now. Oh, what? That other Wall Rain totally lived an Ice Beam, so I was totally thinking we'd live that Ice Beam. Well, Mega Obama Snow, Wood Hammer. I don't think this Kirim is going to be living it. Whatever he brings in, if anything. Nice. Okay, so we got rid of that Kirim at the cost of like two Pokemon, basically. So that's unfortunate that we are going to lose two Pokemon just to take out his Kiram, but hopefully we can turn it around with our own Kiram, because Kiram's definitely overpowered here. There are definitely some Pokemon that you just want. I wish... Well, I mean, a special attack is actually good, so I really wish we had Giga Drain, because that could A, be super effective, and... B, obviously, restore our health and put us back in this game. Uh, I would have gone for a Giga Drain on that Kirim, obviously, and help us stay alive, stay alive. Do you really not have anything for an Obama Snow? Like, this thing is slow as Tetons. Just send in literally anything and attack with any Ice-type move, which you obviously have, because everyone has either Ice Beam or Ice Punch or whatever. Star Master, what are you doing? What are you doing? I really like this new layout. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I do enjoy that the site's been a little uh, crappy to me, but I do enjoy, like, I don't know if it's a site or if it's my own computer because I'm using this layout or something, but it's just been not letting me close things and I have to, like, refresh the page. That's why it's been all choppy instead of, like, nice and linear as I like to do. So, another wood hammer. Hope we live. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You literally didn't have anything for my Obama Snow? Like, maybe I made a mistake, but I feel like now we're just a lot more even. Alright, we basically have to get these uh, stealth rocks up. They're going to be absolutely huge against ice types. So, as long as you can live one thing, Aurorus, and just get our stealth rocks up, <clears throat> maybe they have the same plan. Maybe they had the same plan. Nope, they did not. Or maybe they did, and they were like, oh, they have Aurorus too. Alright, so we're clearly going down, down, down. Oh, speed tie, nice. Can't believe Blizzard only did that much. He's clearly more specially defensive than we are. Now I should be able to outspeed and barring. Hmm. 
Should I just start ice beaming with Kiram now? Nah. That icicle crash is the way to go. <clears throat> Little nerve wracking with that 10% chance to miss, and I feel like Showdown gives way more hacks than like a 3DS battle. But things turn out, things turn out. This is a tight little match right here. <clears throat> Those stealth rocks are going to be absolutely huge for us, though. <clears throat> Sorry. Just coughing in all your faces. Mmm, it's an inverse battle. So stealth rocks are, like, really useless. Should have just gone double ice beam on that Aurorus. Well, not useless so much. Now... What item do I have? A life orb? I might want to get rid of this thing's life orb with a knockoff. <clears throat> hmm. One sec, I'm gonna see. So you resist both dark and ice types. So knockoff's definitely the way to go here. And he wins the speed tie. Great, great. That's what you want to see. That's it right there. This thing's a monster. But avalanche is going to be the way to go here. And then we just have to hope that Kiram can win, because... We're going to take out this uh, Weavile, but Avalanche is going to get... Oh. Well, Avalanche is going to ruin your day. And maybe we can actually take one more thing out. There aren't a lot of Ice types. I think it's the least common type. Maybe... No, I feel like... Fairy has a bit more than that. Alright, so an Ice Beam is going to come, and then we're going to feel pain, and... Hopefully we can live one. Nope. Really hoping we can live one. Life Orb Vanillax. And we just have our basic Kiram here. So, let's hope we at speed or can live one and then at speed the next one and take it out in one hit because it looks like we are going to lose this one. Alright, nice. So it's going to be a final 1v1 down to the wire to make us two and one. Kiram versus. Should not take you a long time to decide. Okay, Kiram versus Obama Snow. Potentially Mega Obama Snow. So his uh, wood hammer is going to completely uh, ruin Kiram's life. So GG, well played. Obviously, wow, I was hoping that'd do a little bit more. But that is, that is the way that is. Such is life. Such is life. <sighs> hmm. Let's go focus, miss, for fun. Resisted. Interesting. Well, one and two, but that was very close. Just didn't have uh, anything to beat out this Obama snow. So I've had a lot of fun. I might even do uh, another one before this OM goes away. I don't know if they get rid of them. It said seasonal, and I don't know if they only have so much room on their uh, server for uh, types of games, so maybe they'll keep it, maybe we'll get rid of it. If they don't, though, I'm going to do another one of these, I think, pretty soon, because I had fun, even though I was losing. This is a nice close match to end things off, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you uh, go and uh, check out the battles for yourself. Anyway, guys, it's been Brother Arcanine. Thanks for watching. Peace out.